Crack 2000 here. Wow, it's really bright. Anyhow, um, I'm uh, gonna be working on the front fork today, and what I'm planning on doing is notching this back to uh, put this plate in here. So, I'll well, actually this way, but um, I'll be putting some of the plate in here so it will. Uh, be a little bit stronger and I'll be able to drill my holes exactly where I want it um, for the front forks. So again, starting on the forks. Woo!
All right, the welding came out good. Um, that was good as I could do. Did clean it up a little bit and primed it. Not hard to see, but got them put on the front with a little help of from a little cracky. And uh, my forks looked pretty good. So while I was waiting for them to cool down so I could grind them and paint them, I uh, cleared out some space for my gear. Moved, moved some things around. Uh, need to relocate. I think that's like a starter solenoid. I think. Yeah, it looks like it. Something like that. So I need to relocate that. Chopped its mount off. Chopped off mount on the side over here for I believe a body panel. Um, chopped off a couple mounts on this side for body panels and for the exhaust. And um, took off the exhaust. So the exhaust used to go right on this little finger here. Wrap down here along the engine, tuck underneath, go out the back. But I figured that's the best position for my chain. I'm gonna go on the other side, straight up the sprocket to my jack shaft, which will probably be somewhere around here. And then on this side, I have another two sprockets. One will go out the back to the rear tire. Come down here to um, another jack shaft, which will bring it over to the other side and down to the uh, sprocket on the back tire. Uh, that way, when the suspension goes up and down, um, it will be able to rotate on the sprocket up here. So I believe you want to have it somewhat horizontal with your travel so the chain doesn't bind up and stuff. I hope, I mean, I think that's that makes sense to me. And then on the front, I plan on running the chain as close as I can along the side over here. And uh, to a jack shaft up here, um, which will run the chain up the other side of the fork, go to some type of U-joint in this area, and bring the chain back down this side. Might use a CV joint, got some good feedback on adventurerider.com, and uh, so that's what I'm doing. Just glad I got these front forks on today, and we'll hopefully mount up the front wheel. Uh, tomorrow the next day so I could have a total roller and I could kind of play around with the uh, the suspension the height and everything since I left these forks super long so I could just keep pushing them out the top chop it off um, whenever I figure out how high they actually need to be wow that'd be a crazy chopper Get to the chopper. So that would be a pretty crazy ride height right there, huh? I forgot to mention something really quick. Um, not that it really matters too much to everyone since no one else will be doing this build. But what I found was the original, I'm not sure how big the front, oh, that's right here. This was the front sprocket, it was 15 tooth. Um, with that on there, I couldn't get this chain on and off easily um, and if I would have went straight up off of that sprocket it would have rubbed in a number of places it would have rubbed against this which I could have cut off no big deal but it also would have rubbed against this which I can't do anything about there's no way I believe that's for oil not really sure what that is but uh, there's nothing I could do with that I couldn't change it or move it or anything so um, luckily I with my 12 tooth sprocket which I'm going to be using to add extra torque um, I added a little spacer behind it and 
since it's smaller as well, um, it misses everything along this side. And since I spaced it out, it totally misses that. So I don't have to worry about that at all. So I'll be coming up, hit my other sprocket, which will probably all be 12 tooth sprockets um, on my jack shafts. And uh, hopefully that'll work. Anyhow, just wanted to give you that input. Oh yeah, and the, here's the pillow bearing. I think that's what it's called. I'm gonna be using these um, mounted somehow along the side over here. Uh, and uh, I'm probably gonna weld a plate of steel right here. Um, try to reinforce it as much as possible and then have an adjustable bearing that I could go up and down with to adjust the chain tension um, and make any adjustments this way as well if I need to. And that's how this is going to be all rigged up. Cracky 2000 out.